In this video, we will discuss about how to find out the mechanical equivalent of heat by Callender and Barnes constant flow method. When a electric current flows through this coil, the coil gets heated as a result of which the amount of water which flows through this tube also gets heated. The basic principle is the amount of electric energy through this coil is equal to heat consumed by water. You have two thermometers. This thermometer is used to find out the temperature of the incoming water and this thermo thermometer is used to uh, find out the temperature of the outgoing water. So you have two thermometers uh, for measurement of temperature and this is the tube through which you allow water to flow this is the water reservoir where you uh, you have water and you allow constant flow of water through this arrangement you see through this pipe you allow water to flow constantly through this tube and this is the uh, arrangement for the outgoing water. This is the outgoing water the, and the outgoing water can be measured by means of this container. You see in this container you have measuring, uh, um, measuring volume. Okay. And you can find out the mass of water from this volume because density is equal to mass by volume. So, mass is equal to volume into density. So, you multiply density with this volume of water collected so that you can find out how much water is coming through this tube. Okay. And this is the power supply. This is the power supply. I have used here two voltages. One is your 10 volt and another is your 12 volt. You see... Uh, what you do, you connect the ammeter uh, to the power supply in series. You see, I have connected power supply to the ammeter, then ammeter to this coil, then the other end of the um, coil, I have connected to the rheostat. You see, the other end of the coil, I have connected to the one end of the rheostat, and the other end of the rheostat, I have connected to the uh, power supply. You see this is the other end of the power supply. So in this way we connect the rheostat ammeter in series and you connect the voltmeter in parallel. You see the two ends of the coil I have connected the voltmeter to the two ends of the coil in parallel. Okay. Now what you do, you switch on the power supply, when you switch on the power supply, I have given here uh, 10 volt, you see I have given here 10 volt, but uh, you will not get 10 volt in the voltmeter, you will get potential less than 10, 10 volt, because of due to um, loss of energy, and also you will not get um, the exact current um, supplied by the um, supplied by the source and you record the potential and current okay you have to record two potentials and two currents i have taken here one potential 10 volt another 12 volt from the source and you record the um, voltage and current in the voltmeter and ammeter and you also take the amount of uh, water which is collected in the uh, beaker this is the reading for the 12 volt supply supply voltage is 12 volt and this is the reading for the current 
ओके एंड यू ऑल्सो मेजर द मास ऑफ वाटर मास ऑफ वाटर इन द रिजर्वर और इन द कंटेनर ओके बिकॉज यू नीड पोटेंशियल करेंट मास ऑफ वाटर एंड द टेम्परेचर टू टेम्परेचर्स इन द थर्मोमीटर्स सो वेन ए स्टेडी करेंट इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट फ्लोज थ्रू द कॉयल द कॉयल गेट हिटेड एंड एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ हुईच द अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर विच फ्लोज थ्रू द ट्यूब ऑल्सो गेट हिटेड एंड द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल इज द अमाउंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू द हीट कंज्यूम्ड बाय वाटर एंड फ्रॉम जूल्स लॉ वी नो डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू जे एच एंड इफ यू कन्वर्ट द अमाउंट ऑफ वार्क डन इन टर्म्स ऑफ पोटेंशियल एंड करेंट देन डब्ल्यू इज विल बी इक्वल टू भी इन टू आई दैट विल बी इक्वल टू जे इन टू एच एंड एच इज इक्वल टू एम एस थीटा एंड हियर एम एस एंड थीटा इज द डिफरेंस इन टेम्परेचर दैट इज थीटा टू माइनस थीटा वन सो हियर यू हैव टू टेक टू पोटेंशियल्स फॉर द कैलकुलेसन ऑफ जे यू हैव टू टेक टू पोटेंशियल्स फॉर द फास्ट पोटेंशियल सपोज भी वन इज द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एंडस ऑफ द कॉयल इन वोल्ड्स एंड आई वन इज द करेंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द कॉयल इन एम्पियर एंड एम वन इज द रेट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ वाटर थ्रू द ट्यूब यू कैलकुलेट दिस रेट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ वाटर थ्रू द वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर व्हिच यू हैव कलेक्टेड बाय मींस ऑफ द कंटेनर इन द वॉल्यूम इफ यू फाइंड आउट द वॉल्यूम देन यू कैन कैलकुलेट एम बिकॉज डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर यू नो सो यू मल्टीप्लाय डेंसीटी विथ वॉल्यूम टू फाइंड आउट द मास एंड द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द इनलेट वाटर you find out from the thermometer first thermometer and temperature of the outlet water outgoing water and that is theta 2 it is theta 1 incoming is theta 1 and outgoing is theta 2 and s is the specific heat of water it is a known value so you put you can uh, put these values that is m as theta 1 theta 2 uh, v1 and uh, i1 if you put these values then you will get the equation v1 i1 equal to j m1 s theta 2 minus theta 1 for j is the mechanical equivalent of heat we have to find out it and for the same surrounding temperature at another potential v2 and another current i2 you calculate m2 and you keep this temperature theta 2 and theta 1 uh, fix because Uh, you will uh, supply more amount of water uh, flowing through this uh, tube so that the temperature theta 1 and theta 2 will be same the inlet temperature and outlet temperature inlet temperature is always same and you uh, supply more amount of water m2 so that theta 2 will be same as in the previous case now what you do you take the difference v2 i2 minus v1 i1 that will be equal to j s you take j s common and you take m theta 2 minus theta 1 common so you have m2 minus m1 so j will be equal to v2 i2 minus v1 i1 divided by s into m2 minus m1 into theta 2 minus theta 1 and all these values after putting all these values you can calculate the value of j that is the mechanical equivalent of heat so it is a very easy method how to calculate the mechanical equivalent of heat by using calendars and burns constant flow method